Not all heroes wear capes or have to be extremely strong. In fact, you yourself are a hero. The Hero's Journey is a formation of a story established by Joseph Campbell, which is seen in myths, storytelling, religious rituals, and so on. It is to show how the hero reaches his or her success. And that hero is within everyone. I went to Alvin Curling Public School for grade 7 and grade 8. That is when I started taking school more seriously. I actually started, started studying for tests and looking into the future. My parents told me to talk to my sister to get some advice from her. My teachers gave me a lot of options on where to go to high school. Sooner or later, I started applying for different programs at different schools. I initially wanted to go to St. John Paul II Catholic Secondary School for the IV program because my sister went there and I felt like I should do the same thing. However, my parents wanted me to try the TOPS program on Mark Grinnell and I refused. I later on listened to my parents and applied. However, I got rejected, but I wasn't so upset about it. From a very young age, my mentor was my sister. I always wanted to do everything like her. I know her a lot, but when it comes to advice, she gives the best one. Why did you think Ivy was the best choice for Mathusha? Throughout Mathusha's entire school career, I felt that she was always one of those kids that stood out amongst her class, and she was always the one that always decided to do things out of the box and was always willing to take on risks and will willing to take on challenges. And this is exactly why I and my family and my parents felt that IB was the correct program for her because IB is a program that stands out from the regular academic program in school and it requires students to challenge themselves and take on steps that they would have never imagined they would take. After meeting new people on IB, I asked one of my grade 12 IB friends how IB was for them. Well, um, at first, my parents strongly believed that I should join IB. Um, so it kind of influenced me in, in doing it because they believed that it would benefit um, my, uh, me with my work ethics and that it would make me more responsible and organized and they prepare me for university. So, oh. yes. Crossing the threshold was my first day of high school when I didn't know anyone in my class and I had no idea how it was going to be. The real tests and enemies came to me in my grade 9 year second semester. I had three IB courses, French, math, and English. I was also involved in a lot of extracurricular activities outside of school, such as dancing, singing, playing the instruments. Moreover, I tutored kids three times a week. I went to Tamil class every week. Everything started piling up on me. And on top of that, my grandfather became very ill. He was at the hospital most of the times. I couldn't handle my stress anymore, nor my anxiety. That is why I often found myself alone in my room watching Netflix. Later on, I understood that it's all perspective. If I have more of a positive thought towards stress, then I wouldn't be so upset. I understood I couldn't really do everything I wanted to do, so I stopped singing and tutoring. I also learned that staying closer with my IB friends was the best way to go because they would understand my stress better. Soon enough, I was myself again. My friends and family felt as if I came back. How did you help Matusha overcome her challenges? I helped Mathusha overcome her challenges by um, listening to her point of view through everything and not judge her based on what other people say. And I listened to everything she had to say instead. Say three things about Mathusha. Um, she is funny, brilliant, and nice. She's goofy and really hilarious, so she keeps the party going. Um, she's really hard working, like if anyone in our family needs something, she's on it and she's overall just a really good person that will help anyone at any time. Pretty, amazing and kind. How did you overcome stress? I overcame stress in IB by talking to my IB friends instead of my academic friends since they could understand me more and I also listened to a lot of music to help me overcome stress. Usually when I'm stressed, I like to leave for whatever I'm doing and then come back to it later. So for example, I would like to either just go for a walk or take a nap. However, my journey is not over yet. I'm not on the road back. There are so many more challenges I have to face. I've only completed one teardrop of water in the ocean. There's still a long way to go. Through IB, I created a family. When life gets us down, we know what to do. Just keep swimming.